After a massive storm tears through the Hex Archipelago, you find five grizzled survivors in the water. Shivering their timbers, they explain that they're the former crew of the great pirate Greenbeard, who marooned them after they tried to mutiny. Each was bound up in a different spot on a small island until the storm washed them out to sea. In gratitude for saving them, they reveal a secret. The island they were on is also where Greenbeard has buried his treasure hoard. But when the sailors try to describe the island, something seems off. All agree it was flat and barren with no prominent features except for some trees. Yet each pirate claims they saw a different number of trees, ranging from two to six. The pirate who saw two trees says the treasure was buried right at his feet. When you fly your hot air balloon over the area to investigate, you see hundreds of small islands, each with exactly six trees. The next storm will be here soon, so you'll have to hurry and narrow your search. What does the island with Greenbeard's treasure look like from the sky? And where will the treasure be on that island? It might seem like the pirates are delirious from dehydration, but that's not what's going on. Remember, each was confined to a separate point on the island, and no two of them could see the same number of trees. That means that for all but one pirate, something was blocking their view. And since there are no other features on the island, that something could only have been other trees. A pirate would see fewer trees when two or more fell along a straight line from their vantage point. So we need to find the island where five different pirates standing in different spots would each see a different number of trees. Virtually every island has a position from which you can see six trees. And on most islands, there's a position where five trees can be seen by standing in line with two of them. It turns out that the hardest locations to find are those with fewer visible trees, precisely because they require more trees to line up with the viewer's position. So how can we see just two trees? One way would be if all the trees were lined up in single file, such as on this island. Then you could stand at the end of the line and see one, stand in the middle and see two, or stand anywhere else and see all six. But there's no place from which you can see only three, four, or five, so one straight line of trees is out. So what about two lines of trees? So long as the lines aren't parallel and they intersect over land, there will always be a position where the two lines converge from which you could see exactly two trees. And if they're grouped two and four, or three and three, there are many arrangements in which you could also see three, four, five, and six trees. Fortunately for us, there's only one island in the archipelago with two non-parallel lines of trees and it'll be buried at the intersection of the two lines. You land on this island and dig up a chest containing a massive pile of tree seeds, ready for planting. Was this treasure really worth all that trouble? That's a matter of perspective. Do you subscribe to the TED Ed Riddle series? If so, then two months ago, you narrowly escaped the eccentric wizard. Last month, you locked up the elusive space rebels, you just snagged some seeds from Greenbeard, and there are many riddles to come. We want you to be able to solve any riddle you encounter, and we have the perfect place for you to hone your problem-solving skills. Brilliant offers an amazing library of puzzles to help you master all kinds of problem-solving techniques. They take tough problems, break them up into bite-sized concepts, and help you build them back up into stunning solutions. Using Brilliant will help you apply new tools to novel situations and help you solve future TED-Ed riddles. Visit brilliant.org slash TED-Ed or click the link below to get started on your problem-solving journey. Creating a Brilliant user account is free, but if you decide to create a premium account, the first 833 of you to do so through this link will receive 20% off the annual subscription fee. Thanks!